And then on top of that, reading the email I just presented, I want to know how anybody can have animosity towards someone bringing to light what actually just occurred. If I'm getting an email from someone that already purchased his plan stating that the plans are subpar, then what does that tell you? tells me he's hurting people do you think that's the only guy that's out there that got burned by this and of course if he got his money back from this gentleman that he purchased the plans from why would he be messaging me why waste the time it tells me stuff and in the video i also show you how to use this program which is called sheet cam which basically prepares the g-code for mac3 to use right there so anyways let's see if it works start cutting all right, plasma is turned on. Got the ground clamp on the tube here. I free wonder to how many rotate. of you feel it's okay to have cables attached to moving components. I mean, as far as safety goes, we see here with a ground clamp attached to the tube, he's attempting to notch. What do you think could happen in the event something gets crazy? Because of course that does happen in every shop. I mean, I've had clients have everything from fires to crashes, you name it, it's happened. I really want to know what this person is thinking when they're showing others this. And I haven't hooked up the automatic Z axis yet. So I'm just going to manually flip this switch, basically to tell the torch it hit the material, even though it's already hit it. I can turn it off later and on, of course, in the software. For the test, this will do. So I guess here goes nothing. Let's give it a go. Flicking the switch. It should cut now. All right, guys, I've slowed down the video so you can see with the torch firing, just as I stated earlier, the motor cables literally go around this turret. This one does basically a full rotation. The torch is firing. That unit pulls a massive amount of amps. It's dispersing a massive amount of energy. And it only takes a split second for something to go crazy. And of course, with that thing firing, a shop fire is so easy to start. It's frightening. Many of you look at these videos and look at them at the comical source or, you know, we're poking fun. I'm really not doing that. I'm showing you what's out there. And I'm really genuinely telling you, be careful who you watch. I hope that those of you who want to learn, do it right and follow best practice, learn something. I thank you all for your support. Take care.